Ha-ha! And then I chased that guy so fast that flames came out of my tailpipe. But you can bet I caught that thief. Wow. Oh, that reminds me of the time all three canal bridges were on fire. I pumped water till the whole canal was dry. That earned me the medal for extinguished service. Man, that sounds almost as tough as police work. Almost. Yeah, nothing personal, but with police work, you gotta be quick on your wheels and tight on their heels. Maybe, <laughs> but fireworks much harder. It's not just pedal to the metal, it requires a lot of careful thought. Careful thought? <laughs> Point and squirt? Listen, you two. If you both think each other's job is so easy, why don't you try switching for a day? Hmm. You know what, Alice? I'll take that challenge. Yeah, me too. I'll do your fire truck job today, and you do mine. Piece, Piece of cake. cake. Emergency services. Oh, I see. Yes, over and out. Listen up. There's a kitten stuck in a tree outside of Benny the Baker's. You better hurry on over because it's action time. Oops, wait a minute. You're taking my calls today, Polly. This is your big chance to try being a fire truck. Kittens? Ooh, tough assignment. I'd better be careful. It could get cuddly out there. <laughs> Action time! Fire truck Polly on the scene. I have spotted the perpetrator. Meow. Attention, citizen. This is the police. I mean, the fire department. Meow. All cats, kittens, and other cute animals, please leave the area of the... Uh, tree. Yeah. Huh. I thought I was clear. Kittens must have poor hearing. I'll try the lights. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, if I can't get her down from the tree, I'll bring the tree down to the ground. Here you go, kitty. Yeah. Oops. Well, at least that got her out of the tree. Oh. Hey there, Polly. Looks like you could use some help. There you go, little fella. Thanks, Hector. Glad you came by. Sure, Polly. Hmm. Been a while. I wonder how Polly's managing out there. Oh, he's probably doing great. Hmm. Emergency services. Oh, I see. Yes. Listen up! There's a traffic jam at the industrial park. Here's how you can show your stuff, police officer Fiona. You got it. Action time! Wow. Quite a jam, all right. Okay, here goes nothing. Attention vehicles! I'm Officer Fiona, and I'll be your traffic cop today. A fire truck directing traffic? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as she can get us unstuck, folks are waiting on their mail. And their meals. And their muffins. And their mums. Uh, um, oh, okay, hold on. Um, <clears throat> um. Um, Polly usually directs us into two groups. Two groups, great. Um, so, everyone who likes pizza, back up now. Oops. Okay, um, all cars who love ice cream, go forward. Hmm, <laughs> uh, maybe, uh... Oh, I can help you. I'll just move these traffic cones. Thanks, Digsy. You bailed me out. It's good to have friends. Oh, man, that was nerve-wracking. I gotta relax. Just make some tea and curl up by the... Fire! Huh? Shake a tail, Fender Fire Cop Polly. We have a three-alarm blaze at the campgrounds. Go, go, go! It's action time! Oh, brother. Here I go. Oh, the fire hydrant's too far away. What else puts out fires? Ah, I'll smother it. Ha! 
Fiona never would have thought to do it this way. Hey, what's that burning rubber smell? Yeah, it's me! Ah, whoa, hey, no, whoa, ah, no. Wait, come back here, whoa! Help! What an afternoon. Ah, home base at last. Two hours without even a bathroom break. I really gotta go! Huh? Go! Wacky Wayne is doing spin-outs all around the town. Someone's gonna get hurt. He's headed toward the train station. Here we go again. Well, if Polly can do it, so can I. Action time! Hey! Stop! Police! <laughs> if you're the police, I'm a pair of pink roller skates! Slow down! That's an order! Slow down? I think you're doing enough of that for the both of us! <laughs> huh? Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Uh, uh. Sorry, Frankie! My pineapples! Come back, darlings! Oh, they've never been out on their own before! Help! There's got to be some way to put this out! Whoa! That guy must be going double the speed limit! But what can I do? I'm a fire truck, not a police car today! Stop, Wayne! I mean it! <laughs> How does Polly do it? <laughs> huh? Fiona, you put out the fire. I'll take care of Wayne. You got it. <laughs> gotcha. Whoa. What do you have to say for yourself, pal? Just having some fun. Well, someone could have gotten hurt. Yes, sir. Next time you go racing off all pleased with yourself, maybe you should think more about others. Now get yourself home. Think more about others? <laughs> that sounds like a good lesson for us, too. I should have thought more about your hard work day before I went bragging about my own. <laughs> Me too. Oh, what a day. I gotta tell you, Polly, I learned a lot today. And you were great out there stopping Wayne. No, you were the one who was great out there, Fiona. Ah, oh, come on. You've got a really challenging job, admit it. Me? You're the one with the challenging job. Compared to police chases? <laughs> Will you guys knock it off? Handling that big hose? You rock, Fiona. No, you rock. No, Guys. you. No, Guys. you. You. No, you. No, you. No, you. You. No, you. Guys. No, you rock. No, you. No, you. <laughs> no, you. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's going to be so beautiful. What is that, Mr. Mayor? What? Haven't you heard? Oh, of course not. I haven't told anyone yet. This is where the new statue of the town's founder, Crandall Crankcase, is going to go. There's going to be a huge unveiling party tonight with mini donuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, Tommy! There's the vehicle I've been waiting to see. I need you to head over to the neighboring village and bring back the statue for tonight's party. And rush back here as fast as you can. The whole party, I mean the whole town, is counting on you. So get going. Maybe Tommy shouldn't go too fast. He has to drive safely after all. Yes, 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 go slow. But go slow very fast. This is a rush order. If you insist, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, are you sure it's safe oh, to- Oh, I forgot. The mini donuts. I must see Benny right away. 
Okay, then I better get going. <clears throat> All right, Benny, we'll need 60 mini donuts. 25 should be jelly and the other 50 should be glazed. Uh, but, Mr. Mayor, that's 75. Then make that 100. Oh, but what about those mini quiches? Yum! Two dozen. No, six. Instead of the donuts? Oh, mini micro strudels. Precious darlings. What if we did 2,000 of those? So which is it? Donuts? Quiches? Strudels? Oh, my stars, mini maple muffins. Yes, yes, yes. But yes to what? Yes to what? Well, I'm off. And remember, Benny, this is a rush job. Oh, my. That was confusing. A little to the left. Now to the right. I wonder what sort of entertainment there should be at our Crandall Crankcase party. <gasps> entertainment? I would love to sing a song to Crandall Crankcase. I have a beautiful voice. Oh, dear Crandall! Oh, dear Crandall! <laughs> 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 Here you go, Mr. Mayor. I made it here in record time. What's under the sheet? Why, it's the statue of Crandall Crankcase. But I can't tell anyone, not even you. It's going to be a big surprise at the party. Well, I think you just told me, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm so terrible at keeping secrets. Voila! <gasps> this isn't Crandall Crankcase. It's obviously a woman! Tommy, you took the wrong statue. I'm sorry. I was in such a rush, I guess I wasn't thinking. This statue belongs to the other town. It's their founding mother, Petunia Piston Popper. Petunia, Petunia Piston Popper? Does this mean you're going to cancel the party? What? Never! I can't disappoint my public. We need to swap these statues right away. But how? Aha! That's it! Harry Hot Rod! Can you help me, please? Hmm? I need you, Harry. You must coach Tommy on how to go fast. Really fast. What for? I need him to return the Petunia statue and pick up our Crandall statue before the party starts. But I don't like to go that fast. What if I overheat? Don't worry, Tommy. You've got the best speed coach in town. Let's ride. Drive like a race car, Tommy. The party depends on you. Come on, Tommy. Start your engine. Come on, Tommy. Faster. You can do it. You see that snail? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't. Everything should be one big blur. Then you know you're driving fast enough. Okay, I guess. Attaboy, Tommy. Great work. Hey, this is kind of fun. Woohoo! Whoa, oh yeah, this is great. I'm a race truck. Yeehaw! <laughs> Tell the snail I said see ya, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! <sighs> Made it! Great, Tommy. Let's swap the statues and race back. Done. Let's go. <coughs> this speed doesn't feel safe, Harry. Maybe we should slow down a bit. No time for that. First one through the tunnel wins. All right, you're on. Woohoo! Dusted your hutch, old Tommy boy. Tommy boy, where did you go? Harry, I'm stuck. Emergency services, yes. Oh, I see. Over and out. Listen up. Tommy's stuck in the tunnel between here and the neighboring town. Oh, no. What a jam. Yes. You'd better hurry on over, heroes, because it's... Action time! Hello? Tommy? Over here! 
This is all my fault. I was going too fast. Now I'll never make it to the party in time. Uh, it's not working. We need to try something else. Uh, uh, I'm stumped. Oh, maybe I should quit being a tow truck. I can't even complete a simple job like this. None of this is your fault, Tommy. After all, you didn't want to rush in the first place. It was the mayor that insisted. You were just doing what you were told. Maybe. I just feel so small. Small? Wait a sec. If there were just some way to make Tommy a little bit smaller, then maybe he might fit through the tunnel. Got it. Tommy, let some air out of your tires. Then you won't be as tall. Brilliant. I'll try it. Yes! Now I can fit. And the statue is all right. Let's get to the party, but this time I'm going to drive normal speed, even if it means I'm late. Party! 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 There, there now. We have to wait until... Oh, here they come. Hooray! There and perfect. Yes, all right. Tommy. Go, nice Tommy. work, Tommy. Well, it all worked out. Tommy, I'm very sorry I made you rush. It caused more trouble than I realized. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. And next time, if someone asks me to do something I don't feel safe about, I should be brave and politely say no. Say no to the mayor? Outrageous! But probably a very good idea most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> time for a little song. Oh, dear Crandall, we lift our light to thee. Oh, dear Crandall, a solid as could be. Maybe not as solid as he looked? Oh, dear. I'm frightfully sorry, but it seems the party will have to be cancelled for today, so we can repair the statue. Aww. We will hold it next week instead. Yeah! And in the meantime, I hereby announce a party cancelling party, starting now! Yeah! <laughs> Two parties are always better than one. Hey, leave some mini muffins for me! <laughs> tra dee doo dee dee tra be da be da be do What you doing, Polly? Traffic light's out. I'm just waiting for Robbie to come fix it. Till then, I've got a direct traffic, being the town's only cop and all. Typical. I always hit red lights. Yeah, and I'm in a hurry this morning. Okay, Wheelie, you first. Now your turn, Harry. Take it easy now, Harry. As always. Cool. Say, Calamity, would you mind taking over for a minute while I go grab a sandwich? Me? A real police officer? <laughs> well, it's nothing official. Just stay here in direct traffic for a bit. It's not hard. You know, if you want, Polly, I can take over here for the whole day. Really? You'd do that? Yeah. I'll make you proud, Polly. Uh, okay. Sure. I do have other things to do today. Thanks, Calamity. Can I have a policeman's hat? Sorry, I don't have any. A badge? No. A donut? Negative. A gun? Absolutely not. Uh... Here. You can hold this ticket pad if it makes you feel better. Wow, thanks! Hut, two, three, four! Hut, two, three, four! Hut, two, three, four! Ah, ow! Careful, you! I'm on official police business directing traffic! That is, if there was some traffic. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy! My first customer! Hot! What is wrong, Calamity? You can't go until I direct you to. Why? Because I work for the police department now. Really? How do I know this is true? Because I, um, you know... See? 
Okay, you're a policeman. So can I go now? Hmm. Uh, uh, it's safe. Proceed. Uh, halt! That's an order! Now what? Your mustache is drooping. You'll put the other drivers in a bad mood by looking so grumpy. What? What other drivers? Creating a public danger. Just following the law, Benny. If you have a complaint, see the mayor. Have a nice day. Is that an order, too? Doing good feels great. I have to go on a little patrol and see what other good I can do. Police Officer Crow at your service. Hmm. Hot Dog Herbie, halt! Hi, Calamity. What's going on? That's Officer Crow, if you please. Officer? Yep. Deputized this morning. I'm here to make sure that you, John Q. Public, is safe. But my name is Herbie. No matter. You must always cross at the intersections, not in the middle of the block. You're giving me a ticket? Just doing my duty, citizen. See the mayor if you have a complaint. Have a nice day. Oh. Oops, sorry. No need for concern, citizen. My lawman foot is fine. Yikes! Here, citizen. What's this for? Well, for making a very large hole. Huh? Oh, and one for you, Tracy, for not stopping him from making a very large hole. That's silly. How do we repair a sewer line without digging a hole? But what if someone falls into it, hmm? That's why we put up barriers. Still, that hole is a menace to public safety. <laughs> See? So that's another ticket for not admitting that Officer Crow was right. There. Ah, what a meal. Time for a little after-lunch snooze, eh? <sighs> Sounds good. Listen, about Calamity Crow, do you really think it's wise to leave him in charge of that intersection? It's just a broken traffic light. What could possibly go wrong? Emergency services. Yes. Oh, I see. I'll send him now. Paulie, traffic is backed up all over town. It's so bad that some cars are trapped on the railroad crossing. Huh, that's not good. What if a train comes? You can say that again. It's action time! <laughs> Calamity! Where is that feather brain? Forget him for now. Let's unsnarl this mess. Okay, Iris, back up two inches. Troy, turn right and pull over there. All right, Tommy, tow that car off the tracks. Oh, that was close. Now to get to the bottom of this mess. Hmm. Aha! What's this for? For making noise. Oh, oops. And another one for making smells. But I'm just doing my job. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? If you have any complaints, Gary, talk to the mayor. I'm just a police officer. Whoa! <coughs> a very sore police officer. Just a second there, Tommy. Cars must go through the intersections one at a time. One car at a time? <laughs> but I'm towing this car, Calamity. Sorry, Tommy. Rules are rules. Talk to the mayor if you don't like them. Oh, okay. All right, then. I'll just continue. Just a second. I said one car at a time, didn't I? I'm afraid I'll have to give you a ticket, Harry. But, but, I'm being towed. Hiya, Hector. Here, come here. Hi, Calamity. Can I help you with something? Take this ticket for flying too low. Too low? 
what do you mean? I came down here because you told me to. Don't complain to me, complain to the mayor. It's his job to listen to complaints. Bye. Too many petals. Too much sand. Too many stripes. Too cute. Too green. I was getting yeah, ready for the you party. know what happened then, and then there was a really big truck. I don't know what this is, and I just don't know what I got taken for eating lunch without a license. I got mine for looking sad. And I got another one for blinking too often. Citizens, calm down. I'm sure this can be straightened out. Somehow. Someday. Oh. Folks, listen. Just ignore those tickets. They're not real. There you go, buddy. Hm. For overcrowding the mayor's office. What? There. All the tickets are handed out, Polly. My work here is done. You can say that again. I told you to stay at the traffic light, not give out tickets to innocent people. Hey, I was fair. I even gave myself a ticket for wearing too many bandages. Forget the tickets, Calamity. You created the biggest traffic jam this town has ever seen. Really? The biggest? That's not an achievement, Calamity. We almost had an accident. Aw, I'm really sorry, everyone. It's just, well, I wanted to know what it felt like to be as helpful as Polly. Aww. Well, nobody was hurt, thank goodness. Tell you what, Calamity. You can come to the rescue station and help me clean the fire hoses. Really? Wow! Do I get a fire axe? <laughs> <laughs>